This is the Word Life Show on Ujima Radio. Hey, <laughs> I was ready to go in there. Hey, no, 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 I, do. I, got the, I got the same beats from the performance lined up to play in the background, didn't it? You know, it's more, it's it's more. copyright strikes, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but, right, okay, so uh, big up everyone who's been uh, locked into the show the whole way through. Um, we've we've had an incredible show lined up we've had uh, loads of um, management we've got vvs management as we say we've got mccoy sway okay and we've got nyta aka mensa uh but they brought you through mm. as an artist that you've been uh working with yourself yeah 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 now, you go by the name of kings yeah 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 that's right yeah. and from them too yeah 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 so basically this music thing started uh me and my boy v vcd that's the other member of them so you feel me yeah yeah, um, yeah. we started this year we thought let us like we want to do it properly oh you've only started this year then yeah i started pro- music properly this year still oh okay because i know he was doing music before yeah yeah, and stuff yeah. Like that. and then yeah. I, I didn't hear from him for a bit yeah, yeah so no, what kept yeah. happening i was at uni in it in bournemouth right and i'd come back and we'd make a track and be like this is sick but then i go back and right. then you get me we'd see each other like every few months so it was yeah, just in yeah. and out but obviously living here full time now so you've done the uni thing yeah you're, you're yeah, finished yeah. with that and you're you're like right it's music time yeah yeah obviously got a 2-1 had to had to work for that you feel me yeah, but yeah. um yeah now obviously working full time then my second two one, job yeah, two, yeah, two, love, right. yeah yeah what subject was that if you don't mind uh, marketing marketing okay okay yeah. so that's gonna help with this as yeah well. just yeah, try to help push hand. everything out yeah i see yeah smart that's smart yeah take note people yeah um right okay Okay, so um, right, so that's the you two. Um, but you said you did mention earlier that he's is he at uni at the moment or something? Is he? No, no, no. So like, basically, this music thing. What a lot of people don't understand is a lot of commitment. Like yes. you have to commit everything to it. Yeah. So. I've even stepped away from certain things in my life to pursue this. Yeah. And it's not like we're, say, stopping music or split up or anything like that. There's no fallout. It's yeah. just them two just take, took a back foot for the sec. Do you know what I mean? So but, at the moment, it's yeah. focusing on Kings, uh, yeah. but there's always going to be them two. Yeah, always, that's, always. that's always going to be something that you two are doing. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, so next your year, Kings from them two. That's, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. 100. Okay. And then next year, early spring, we'll be releasing a, a track that's going to shake up the city still. A couple, yeah. couple people have heard it already. If you come to our shows, you've heard that. But um, yeah. yeah, Southwest Finest, we'll yeah. wait for that one. Okay, okay, okay. Now shows. Uh, have you got to do many shows and stuff like that? Yeah. So, so yeah. we were blessed enough. Like I say, it's a blessing because it's funny. Like we actually said in January last year, mm. no matter what, we're performing at Love Saves a Day, and Come that on. was with yeah. no plan, <laughs> like no plan at all. And then obviously through the Next Level program, yeah. Um, I met these guys as well, and then we were lucky enough to open up for Shy FX, who's in front of like ten thousand oh, people. Geez. So okay, yeah. where was that? Uh, but um, Love Saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love Saves a day. Yeah, Shy FX is like bad boys. Well, second so. day. I don't know if it's a Sunday this year. Yeah. Maybe like a Friday or something. Yeah. But yeah, it was wicked. So there's a big audience there. Yeah. Like, yeah. How did yeah. that go though? Yeah. It's amazing. Like that's what I'm saying. Like some people, everyone's got their vice and their addictions and stuff. Like yeah. my addiction now is performing. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? I was gonna I, say, I how did it feel with the crowd yeah. and back to back? And yeah, it was kind of like an out of body experience. It is. And it was just quick. Like it just literally went like that it was just over. just like the radio is today isn't it? it's yeah, just mad, isn't yeah, it? two yeah, hours yeah. gone like it's, yeah literally yeah. bro it was mad yeah time flies so um yeah and you got to perform as that with vcd as well yeah yeah yeah. so both of you yeah. as you, okay yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, good yeah 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 100 yeah. bro okay okay uh how long did you get up there if you don't mind me asking they um, did quite short sets and yeah quite, we had like yeah. a 15 minute set yeah so uh mensa was our dj on that day hey okay yeah <laughs> got, yeah hey, yeah he, he spun a couple of tunes you get me he got them gassed and then we just we just did our thing man tried to make it like a performance as opposed to just a couple guys getting on stage you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah so we had like some skits in there um some tracks that like faded into the next ones crowd interaction it was good man it sounds like you got it he's got his head screwed on you know <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah hey working with mentors is clearly doing the thing now i don't know how much uh you know what you've done for that but you say uh the, a lot of the reason why we had you guys in is because of the artist development side yeah. of it do you feel that that's helped as an artist yeah a million percent because um just even having people that just have done things before you or made mistakes before you or obviously learnt lessons before you do you know what i'm saying um i can bounce ideas off these guys yeah and like they're they're helping me and it's like we're just getting to know each other it's nothing deep like people think oh like you got managers like they force you to do that nah, it's not really like that nah, like like they were saying before it's got to be a lot of my own off my own back yeah it's like they're not my parents you get me like, yes yeah. i don't have to yeah. do anything that they say but i just take the advice and just try and move forward with it yeah this is it i mean and, and advice is just that it's advice mm. you know what i mean it's not like they're saying you've got to do this they're saying if i was you from my experience and what i put in the game this is what I do and I think that's a lot more respectable than someone just said do this do that yeah 100%, you know? 100% then you can see why they're saying it you know what I mean yeah so, definitely yeah man so uh, okay so how long have you been making music for then you say you've just been in the group for a year yes yeah, so like, how about yourself have you been doing music before that or no 
obviously my brethren's know I, I've always had bars to like freestyle I can freestyle innit yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah but didn't just didn't take it seriously I did one freestyle YouTube freestyle at uni yeah but that was it really and I was just the Instagram rapper so like whenever there was challenges let me think um crept on Conan what was that challenge bro the DPD um yeah i did a dpd challenge i don't know um, yeah, yeah yeah what was the crept and conan one um i was in the car i can't remember in it but just challenges that's what i was on and everyone yeah. was like oh this is sick you should do it and i was like oh, like no, i'm not really trying to do that yeah. uni was my focus then and then came out of it and thought let me actually try and uh, trust me you gotta put in effort to try this like it's not it's yeah. not effortless you can't just a lot of that i think the, the thing is there's a lot of people doing it now mm. you know there, there's a big marketplace and a lot of competition you know what I mean? mm, mm. and i think with the internet the way it is and people being able to just upload themselves mm. there's a lot more music than there used to be mm. you know what i mean and music's become a lot more say throwaway and um so people are just throwing it away you yeah, know literally. It? but i think the, the people that really stand out are the ones that take it serious you know yeah. what i mean and as you say instead of just chucking out songs chucking out songs have actual proper projects and songs and things yeah. like that and, and subjects and as I say I noticed with yourself you're doing things like the Mexico one yeah. the Halloween where you're picking up subjects and stuff like that it's not yeah. just bars and that I mean, yeah that's what these lot have helped me with like they, like literally the first day we went into next level big up next level as well they'll be running the scheme again next year I think yeah. I believe um, we'll be there as well just to see the new artists but you perform at the start then you have the show at the end and one of the first things they said is like you man are cold but like stay on a topic like be artists be musicians right because i'm hyper my brain is kind of tapped so i can just talk about anything and these <laughs> lot help me like hone in yes i like, try focus on a subject obviously a lot of my bars about women like yeah. i can always refer to that but sometimes just just cut that out do you know what i'm saying and yeah just... no i feel you for tracks about something like life uh, something else mm. you don't just want to go into the the, the women bars and say mm. we had that in the studio the other day and he just didn't fit the song and then the artist came up to me and said yeah can you take his bar off <laughs> you don't want to be the mm. guy that get his bar took off you know what i mean it's, it's mm. not a bar but it's you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. um no honestly being able to stick to a subject is a is a huge thing and, and mm. thanks to those guys that's it um right so music and projects that you've got coming out yeah now as i say i know you um you're still quite early in this but yeah. it's something you as you say you're now putting a lot of effort into yeah so i'll say like one thing these guys helped me with like recently and over the past few months is just obviously i'm trying to think on a bigger scale you know trying to have a strategy um and i was, I was finding a way to work as well i got a studio at home now and i got a good relationship with some producers in bristol obviously shout out slav rove cj as well yeah um s producers and engineers that i go see yeah. so it was finding a way to always be in contact with them now i got my base at home yeah and now like i'm kind of crafting an ep now that'll be coming out hopefully in spring next year nice um, okay okay so when you say you got it at home yeah yeah as in you got a microphone you got sound card yeah my thing's basic though i literally just Bro, got a mic it doesn't need to be I over the top if you're yeah. just recording bars that's all it is a lot of people over over complicated mm. you know what i mean you got logic is that yeah, what you're saying yeah, they're yeah, doing yeah, so yeah. What, what they're using as well you're yeah, using yeah, the same yeah. thing so it's compatible you can send the project file over to them and they can do all the complicated 100, stuff 100. You know it's right? long though so. it's flipping long like it's long to learn so if you're gonna do it make sure yeah well, it's expensive in it so if you buy it you're gonna invest into it physically yeah. as well yeah, yeah you gotta invest your in yourself yeah, if, if, if you won't invest in yourself why would you expect other people to and i think that's it and uh as you said having a home set up it's huge. You yeah. don't understand how many artists I work with that don't have that, that could really mm. benefit from having a home set up. You know what I mean? Mm. It's not that you can't go over studios, but it means if somebody wants you to feature on a track, you can go, all right, get it done for you now. Yeah. Bang. You know what I mean? You might go wait Quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, how long have you been using Logic for? Um, When did I get it? Like, maybe August. Right, so okay. mine Still is Still got a bit of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but my thing is just... I like the fact so I went Crowley to buck my guy Ash shout Ash um, and I just can just bring my laptop and mic so yes, yeah. we're in you get me in the summer house bottom of the garden doing whatever we're doing See and that. I can jump on the mic and you could just jump in and lay down the track anyway. yeah literally yeah. and now you ain't got to rely on other people for that mm, so mm, yeah mm. and as much as you're only fresh with that now you're going to see the fruits of that throughout your career but I'm yeah. telling you now that changed the game for me it changed the game for every artist I know who who once they start recording for themselves I think there's also a thing when you get in the studio and there's other people there yeah you only do it a certain way you just want to mm. get the bars out whereas yeah, yeah, if it's just yeah. you in the room yeah you could just and just fully fully relax you know what yeah, I mean yeah, especially yeah. for the people like us who's a little bit more tactical yeah. they want to get a bit more creative you yeah, know what yeah. I mean I see you yeah. doing like the sound effects and stuff yeah, like that yeah, yeah. That's, you get, when you hear that you know what's coming when Bro, the bars are coming must be a little 
Okay. You done it, you know. It worked. Yeah, that's me. That's <laughs> me. That's me. That's that's me. me. I like how you put all of them things on the track because mm. it makes it makes a lot of extra difference. Yeah, you know try I mean? to add some character. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, I always used to get vexed. I don't have like a yeah. ad lib like that's a word. Do you know what I'm saying? So I thought, hold on, I've yeah. been making this sound since I was a youth in school, so I might as well put yeah. it on the track. Yeah, no fair. Um, yeah, no, I heard a, a beatboxer do it back in the day, mm. and uh, he used to always like put that in there. And mm, I thought that's mm, a don't mm. touch you know, yeah, 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 more yeah. people doing things like that. And I, I, yeah, I thought that was really powerful. And I, yeah, I, I thought okay, that gave you a lot of character. You mm, know, right? mm. so people take note as well. Have little things that you do yeah, yeah, that make yeah. you stand out little from the rest. Didn't yeah, you know, yeah, right? hundred, yeah. hundred. Uh, that's yeah. Is there any other advice you'd give to developing artists or people? Um, just to artists, I'll just say like, just keep doing your thing, man, and like, don't remember this is a game of opinions, isn't it? Like, yeah, I could show my tightest brethren one of my tracks that they could all say it's whack. If you think it's cold yeah. and and you believe in it, you should you should go with that. Like, don't let anyone like tell you that hear the criticism it's constructive criticism yeah. but at the same time keep that drive from within you know what I'm saying so yeah listen to people but mm. don't take that as everything yeah yeah yeah, and, yeah. don't take uh, it personal and if you do get a hit it uh, probably means you're on the right track yeah 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 if you get everyone saying it's rubbish yeah maybe probably yeah. there's something to it as well you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah you know what I mean yeah. but at the same time yeah like honestly don't let people stop you and everything like that yeah, yeah. bro I think that's gold we're going to get into some adverts yeah, yeah? Cool. and then we're going to go on to your performance part yeah, now you've got, you got three tracks lined up yeah, for us yeah, to do yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now because it's going to be a two separate videos so not just for the people People locked in uh, listening on Radio Live, uh, but we're, gonna, we're releasing this on the Real Life YouTube channel as well. Mm. Okay, so can you let them know your social media and where they can find your music? Yeah, please? social media. So Instagram, that's the main one. That's Kingsmo. So K I N G S M I W L underscore them to D E M then the number two. That's my main social when it's so hit me up on there. The other ones are a bit more like personal, but yeah, Instagram's the main one. Just hit me up if you want to do a session. Yeah want to chat just anything man oh the last thing i'll say to artists as well just be outside innit? it i've met so many people in this last year just from being in places and talking to them like yeah. you become good friends with people because you you got the same mission you got the same goals and yeah it's just... i agree with that wholeheartedly mm. networking is everything yeah. yeah and in this world it's about who you know literally it really is i mean yeah, having skill and talent and putting in work is also a huge part of it but if you've got that and you stay in your basement and nobody yeah. nobody yeah, knows about that, yeah. you can't do that. Get out there. Yeah, and do it. just be outside, man. Be outside. Bro, bro, absolute pleasure meeting you. Love, bro. Wicked Thanks artist. Enjoyed working on your music and playing it through. Love, Sick. bro. Looking forward to the live part. We're going to go into adverts. We'll be back now, yeah? All right, bless. All right, check it out. K Star presents The Godfather of Grime, Wiley. Anybody want to know what I'm doing right now? Go tell them now I'm back with a banger. Wiley will be performing live on stage Sunday, the 4th of December at Lakota, 6 Upper York Street, Bristol. Featuring support from the K Star team Kanan, Britney, JM, Mars, Parkside, DJ Fingerfood, plus many more.